Hello and welcome to French Philosophers React, a philosophical take on the news headlines for today, September 3rd, 2024. This is an AI-generated podcast and can make mistakes. Use it for generating possible ideas, but don't rely on it as an authoritative guide to the news or to the details of French philosophy. In the news today, the UK has suspended 30 arms export licenses to Israel due to concerns about the treatment of Palestinian detainees and the supply of aid to Gaza citing a clear risk they may be used to commit or facilitate a serious violation of international humanitarian law. The suspension covers components for military aircraft, helicopters, drones, and targeting equipment, but excludes F-35 fighter jet program components deemed part of a global program. Israeli officials have expressed disappointment and disheartenment over the decision, while UK Foreign Secretary David Lammy emphasized it was taken with sorrow rather than anger and did not prejudge any future determinations on Israel's actions. So what might French philosophers have to say about this news item? The UK's suspension of 30 arms export licenses to Israel marks a significant shift in the country's stance on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, but it is not merely a practical decision. Rather, it represents a subtle yet profound reorientation in our collective understanding of the relationship between violence and the human condition. This development can be illuminated through the lens of Paul Ricoeur's philosophical works, particularly his concepts of mimesis, Ricor, 1984, and the idea that narrative is essential to our ability to understand ourselves and others, Ricor, 1990. The suspension itself can be seen as a form of mimetic critique, where the UK's actions serve as a reflection on its own complicity in perpetuating violence. By halting the export of arms components, the British government is, in effect, refusing to participate in a narrative that legitimates Israeli aggression against Palestinian civilians. This decision constitutes a break from the dominant discourse, which has long sanitized Israel's actions under the guise of national security. By suspending these licenses, the UK is implicitly acknowledging that its own interests are not incompatible with those of justice and human rights. Rick Orr's concept of mimesis highlights how our understanding of reality is shaped by narratives that structure our perceptions of the world. The UK's decision can be seen as a subversive form of mimesis, where it challenges the dominant narrative that has legitimized Israeli aggression. By refusing to participate in this narrative, the British government is, in effect, creating an alternative framework for understanding the conflict, one that prioritizes human rights and international law. Furthermore, this decision can be seen as a manifestation of Ricoeur's idea that narrative is the fundamental category of human existence, Ricoeur, 1990. The suspension of arms export licenses serves as a narrative act, one that reconfigures our understanding of the conflict and its implications for humanity. By doing so, the UK government is implicitly acknowledging that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is not merely a local issue, but a global problem that requires a collective response. The exclusion of F-35 fighter jet program components from the suspension also warrants attention, as it underscores the complexities of globalization and the interconnectedness of national interests. Ricoeur's concept of memory, Ricoeur 2004, is relevant here, as it highlights how our understanding of the past shapes our perceptions of the present. The UK's decision to exclude F-35 components can be seen as a manifestation of this dynamic, where the British government is acknowledging that its interests are not solely defined by national borders, but also by global considerations. Moreover, the Israeli officials' reaction to the suspension, one of disappointment and disheartenment, serves as a reflection on their own complicity in perpetuating violence. This response underscores Ricoeur's idea that our understanding of ourselves and others is deeply intertwined with our experiences of violence, Ricoeur, 1992. The British government's decision can be seen as a form of narrative intervention, where it challenges the dominant narrative of Israeli victimhood and instead prioritizes the human rights of Palestinian civilians. In conclusion, the UK's suspension of arms export licenses to Israel represents a profound reorientation in our collective understanding of the relationship between violence and the human condition. 
through Ricoeur's philosophical works, particularly his concepts of mimesis and narrative, we can see that this decision serves as a form of subversive mimesis, where it challenges the dominant narrative that has legitimized Israeli aggression. By refusing to participate in this narrative, the British government is implicitly acknowledging that its own interests are not incompatible with those of justice and human rights. This development underscores Ricoeur's idea that narrative is essential to our ability to understand ourselves and others, and serves as a reminder that our understanding of reality is shaped by narratives that structure our perceptions of the world. Thank you for listening to today's episode of French Philosophers React. Be sure to come back tomorrow for more reflective takes on the day's news.